Okay, so let's get this started here. Zooming into the nose, you wanna have a pretty small brush, but you can't control that because the brush is gonna get bigger as it goes, right? Now watch what happens when I go back over it again. Remember how we put this multiply on? Now, as I'm going over, wherever I paint over again, it's gonna make it look darker. And that's good because right inside that nostril and kind of coming down, the more dried on blood is gonna look darker. So that'll help with the illusion. Okay, that does look weird. So let's zoom out and see what it looks like from out here. I think I went a little too far, this is too dark. So back into my history, clicking up until I've got something a little bit more like what I want. And I think I do want it to have, to look a little bit more like a single line here instead of here where it goes out. So I'll go back to this point right here and mess with that. Making my brush even smaller so that it doesn't have quite as much freedom. I'm gonna come right up to the edge because I want it to be kind of dark right inside that nostril. And that's actually pretty good. Kind of has that drip look. Now I can go to my eraser and I can mess with the edges a little bit. I am going to want to erase out the edges of the nose, but this time I wanna have a solid line. So I'm gonna pull my hardness all the way up by the way, if you right click, you'll get this pop up here. So I'm gonna click along the edges and now it looks like it's coming out of the nose rather than just going over the whole thing. And now I think I have all of the color that I wanna have on here but I want to kind of smudge a little bit of this color around so that it looks like it flows a little bit more rather than that jumbled red brush that we just put on there. So here is your smudge tool and make it smaller than your blood stain and you can just kind of mess around and see how that works. It's gonna kind of soften that edge a little bit right up against the nose, which is nice. I do wanna have more of a solid line around the edge, so I'll be careful not to smudge too much along the edges. But this just makes it look, kinda of look like it's flowing down. Okay, and now let's zoom out and see. Ah, that's much better. Yes, that looks good. Now you can do the same technique on the other side. You can make it flow out just as much if you want to, or you can mess around with just a little bit of color there. And then grabbing that eraser tool and smudging the edges. On this one, I am gonna smudge it out until that dark color goes all the way to the edge of the nostril. And then I'm gonna erase out that extra red because right inside that nostril, you will not see that bright red color. So I'm gonna cut all of that out. And due to the shadow, you probably won't see any red along this edge either. So I'm actually gonna pull my darker color out a little bit and that's gonna spread the color out. And then if I want to, I can grab my eraser. This time I'm gonna get a softer edge and just kinda erase out that lighter red color. And there we go, that works pretty well. And again, for this video, we used the brush tool and the smudge tool mainly, but we also talked a lot about some brush attributes in here. So once you have your nosebleed finished, you'll be ready to move on to the next video.